In this tutorial, we will learn how to model a simple building like this one. We may not need to model it with, uh, with that simple shape for, for modeling or architecture. It's not suitable for architecture purposes, but it, ca it can be useful or suitable for creating a city, a, a big city. It will be part of it or to create buildings uh, far away inside a game. So let's close this down and start with a brand new file. Don't save. So we can start our modeling. So here we will stick to the perspective view. I'm okay with it because we won't need to make too much modification as the uh, modeling will be to at its minimum, not much. I go to geometry standard primitive and I will create a box something like this with this height right click to deselect and let's change let's make the length 25 the width let's make it uh, 50 for the height let's make it 80 for the length segment that depends on how many sides we need to have and here I, I don't need to have much sides I need to have only one side because I will do no uh, modeling uh, on these sides and actually the lens needs to be less than this two, 25 is, is too much let's make it oops let's make it 20 20 is fine for me for the width segment I can make them only three and I will move this one to the right for the height segment that depends on how many uh, level we need to have here so we make it 20 or maybe 10 uh, 10 is too much actually let's make it 9 so we can see it better so that's it for the base building we right click convert to editable poly I need to move on the edge mode I need to move this guy I need to move him to the left to the right sorry and this one I have to move him towards this side okay now on the po using polygon mode selection I will select these parts here and I need to make them a separate object so from here I will press detach and I will call them right side okay now we will work on this first and then we continue with the rest of the building now this is a separate object this guy this one here I will use a modifier we used it before it's called lattice and that what lattice gives you it gives you the ability to have both joints and strusts I need both of them actually but I need to modify some of the parameters for the radius of the thrust I need to raise it up to make it look like uh, windows make it 3 and for the segment uh, I'll leave it to 1 sides let's leave it to 4 and let's check the uh, joints I need them to be tetra and the radius can be raised up a bit uh, let's see what other option we have tetra is fine and the segments we can leave it as it is but we need to change uh, let's show end results we need to change the size of this editable poly so we scale them down on the y axis not, not much We can write it here. That's it. Okay.
So for the lattice, if you would like to change or modify these parameters, you're free to do this. Let's do our modification with this editable poly, and I will change my selection mode to polygon to select these pieces and I will do quick modification by adding an insert it will not be 1 let's make it 0 0.5 and let's make it by polygon press ok now let's do another extrude uh, that depends on how far you want these to go outside the building 10 is, is fine for me I press ok now I need to select this polygon you see right here then we know we need to make an inner extrude with negative value oops we need first to make um, insertion so it won't collapse so you make an insertion with maybe 0.7 and press ok now we do the extrusion with a negative value so we pushed it down maybe we need to press f3 so you can see what's going on here i keep pushing until i get to the end okay press f3 again to get the shaded mode so that's it that's a simple model we can use for a uh, what we call him facade building facade if we're creating a whole city and we don't want too much details that we are used to to, to make use of in uh, building modeling or architecture modeling now let's create some material so we can see differences here i go to material editor i already have these materials but i need a lighter version of them so i press shift drag this one and here I can go lighter I press ok that will be for this building assign material to selection and this guy can be for uh, let's minimize this can be for these polygons these sides of polygons or maybe only the front side we don't we don't need too much colors and then assign that one to them and for this piece right here i can select him from here from this piece here or this part and I will apply the medium material color so that's it we created simple building we can use it in a city as a piece of it and it doesn't have too much polygons in it but it gives me a shape of a building and let's continue in the next tutorial